All right, so this is the technique I like to use. Basically just trying to stretch the dough out as much as possible. So I kind of hold it down with one hand and then with the other hand use the heel of your palm and then just kind of stretch it like this. And I'm just kind of bringing it back with my hand and then stretching and just getting it like as thin as I can really, like that. And then when I've got this top bit done, I'm basically just going to come back and then do the same with, with this bit here and stretch out this bit. So I'm always stretching out the top bit and then coming back. And you can see that's pretty thin now. So then I'm rolling it back and coming back and stretching this bit. And then I'm just keep rolling it up, keep coming down all the way back here. So now you can see it's all been stretched out pretty thin. And then I'm just going to turn it, roll it up, quarter of a turn, and then do the same again. Hold with this hand and then stretch, roll. And that's it really, just keep doing that for about five minutes until it's nice and smooth. You can see how nice and smooth this is. Nice and stretchy. And uh, basically, if you if you can't quite get that technique to start with, you can just kind of just do it like this, and just shoes in the heel of your hand, and just spread it all out on the side. Use two hands if you want. You're just trying to stretch it out as thin as you can. And you can see it's starting to rip a little bit. That's okay. But if you come in close and look here. You can see this is kind of the gluten network starting to develop. See how thin that is? And you can see the little network of gluten strands. This is what we want to develop. And once you can get your dough to this stage, where you can really stretch it out thin like this. That's it now. But you could just do that from the start, gather it all up and do that again. Do that about, I don't know, 10 times and you'll be good to go. I'll just give it a last knead, stretch the top, roll it up and then just keep coming back. And that's it now. And then I'll just put this in the box where you can wrap it in cling film, in a ball in cling film. Leave that to prove. And then I'll shape it into dough balls about four hours before uh, I want to cook it.